Hello there everyone, and welcome back to one of my favorite games of all time, Victoria 2. And right now on screen, we have John Joseph Hughes. As Bishop and later Archbishop of New York from 42 to 1864, Hughes would work tirelessly to integrate Roman Catholics, particularly newly arrived immigrant Catholics, into the fabric of American society, while at the same time ensuring that the institutions and assets of the Catholic Church remain firmly under control of the Catholic hierarchy. An extraordinary man, but it is 1488, or 14, not 88, not yet, we'll get there eventually, but 14. 1848. Man, numbers are difficult. But right now, we are doing state and government. We've just finished up using iron, or researching, iron muzzle load artillery. But we're now going to state and government, and then we're going to come back over and do romanticism. Just so that we can get to the manifest destiny for this campaign. Because we need to do that because we've got to beat the crap out of Mexico. This is my episode, or this is really our episode, in which I just want to beat the crap out of Mexico because... <sighs> I love history. But anyways, Copperheads. The Copperheads were a group of Democrats in the northern U.S. who, during the Civil War, opposed the war and favored a peace settlement with the South. The moniker came originally from Unionists likening them, likening them to poisonous snakes, but it soon struck home with the Copperheads themselves. While there's no war yet, there's a staunch resistance to abolitionism within some Democratic circles in Chicago. Stepping up the local political campaigning could probably neutralize them, but only at the cost of offending southern sediments. We have more important concerns to debate them at every opportunity. Well. Copperhead Democrats. Do we, do we like the Democrats here? Well, they're conservative party, more reactionary, local consciousness. Eh, we'll do. We have more important concerns. Let them do whatever they want to do. I don't really care too much. Eh, let them do whatever. More consciousness. Maybe not great, but a hey, it is what it is. And we're making some okay money. Not a lot. But we're also building up our military even more, just because we were trying to build up. Um, we're currently encouraging a lot of uh soldiers in New York and Massachusetts not just because I want to kill them off and so that we want to fight them later on I guess even Indiana as well look at that but uh yeah totally not ghettos oh boy plurality why not we like plurality to get more reforms oh oh hello friendly with the Sikh, Sikh Empire huh? I guess we have an election here darn we have an election orderly election well if you want to read about that please go ahead this happens like we read this last time so it's all right with us we're gonna keep increasing the military more Units. Actually, what do we have currently made? Because we have some comps to go through this, uh, as well. God dang it, who's getting involved down here? Wow. South Peru, the Andean Federation, and Colombia. 13203. Um, I don't really want to get involved, I'll be honest. I like being at peace. Especially right now, since we're getting s probably. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Brazil, you did. You didn't respond to us last time. I don't want to send anyone down there. I'll send some ships, I guess. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, you're going to go to Santa Cruz, huh? How are ships doing, actually? Uh, they're doing okay. Not too bad. Not too great. Fine, we'll come in then. Now it's probably going to hurt our immigrant attraction. Surge of liberalism. All right. Okay. It looks like the liberals have a talent in the current election to find the right words when they are needed. All over the U.S., their gen new agendas persuade a lot of people to join the cause. Okay, well, that's fine with us. Team leadership against these guys. All right. Well, oh, future of the economy. Let's go for state capitalism because that's always a fun one. Ah, uh, immigration really hasn't been hurt. So even for a war, doesn't matter. Like HPM, secession of sentiments. Oh boy. Al what is this? Alabama. Nice. Oh, rebel scum. Oh, Georgia, as well as Mississippi. Very nice. As well as North Carolina. Oh boy. And Paducah, Kentucky. Cool. <laughs> wow, this, and of course Iowa, of course Iowa is a slave state. What do you mean? As of course Maryland as well. That was that was not allowed to secede during the war because of uh, Lincoln. But you know whatever. All right, so it's actually only fighting two: it's the Andean and Colombia. We can set some ships down here, I guess. Slavery debate, support abolitionists. Eh, I don't know about that. Cool. And we're building up the artillery, which is going to be good. Foreign cuisine, immigrants to Greenville have opened several new shops where specialties from their old homeland can be bought and savored. And this has meant that the local population can, for the first time, experience taste from parts of the world here, here too unknown to them. People who, who a mere few years ago, ate the same food as their ancestors had for centuries can open their eyes and palates to the culinary delights of the uh, world. Pasta and pizza. I wonder where they're from. Uh, we got a lot of consciousness. Let's go with consciousness. Oh, maybe I didn't click on the right one. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Cool. And we have one artillery, one, uh, well, actually, one, two, three. I'll get four artillery. Ah, uh, screw it. Uh, four, and then five, and then... Nice. And, yeah, we'll get some infantry down in there, too, because that'll be good. And that'll boost up our score quite a bit as more. 
quite a bit more so. That would be nice to do. And we're also spending max up for education. Uh, I could probably lower this just by a little bit. Rebel Scum? What is this? Um, talk of secession from the Union can be heard on the streets of Omaha. In fact, all over Nebraska, there is talk of secession. Fueled by outrage over the changes to the American Constitution, which have stripped states of their equality. Local sentiments seem to be turning towards the South, even though Nebraska is not a slave state. It's not, it's not a slave state. What the heck? West Virginia? Cool. Um, suppress the anti-slavery people. Yeah. Oh, well, you're not even a state yet, so. There's only a few thousand people, literally like 5,000 people living in Nebraska, so it doesn't even matter that much. There's one faith and one faith only, because that was always a funny one to do. Um, Natalia? I don't know that, that many girls named Natalie Natalia. And of course, the CSA has cores on Michigan, even though... Do they even have a single thing of Dixie soldiers here? Or Dixie culture? They got hung, basically Spanish, hung, Irish, and Hungarian. Poles, Serbs, South Germans, Italians. Just slave state. Also, I did want to show you, like, um... Where is it? Hispaniola? Almost three-fourths of the entire population are slaves. That's insane. Oh, they do have some Dixie down there. Look at that. See, so it actually might be similar to Dixie culture. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, is war over yet? No. Okay. Are we not? Oh, we are blocking the ports. It's okay. And who's doing this? Tennessee. Cool. And Argentina. Why am I not influencing Brazil? That is a big mistake. Country. Brazil. I did say we have some comments to go through, but we will once I remember to do that. Is it called the the Empire of Brazil? It might be called the the Empire of Brazil. Where is it? What the heck is Brazil? Is it the kingdom? Oh, no, it was just empire. Are you kidding me, man? Uh, why does TH have to hurt us? The girl from Lexington. The coal laid in tub must have weighed heavily on her body, fragile and worn for many years of arduous slavery in the Lexington coal pits. For her feet can no longer carry her. There in the dark, where the shafts go countless fathoms deep, she slipped and fell. Another young girl's lost her life in a coal mining accident in one of her provinces. And the particular tragedy of the case has received national attention. How unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Slavery debate? Nah. Oh. Uh, Missouri makes sense. Oh, the Corman Amendment. Oh, what is that? Okay, cool. Tensions over slavery are about to reach a boiling point. By introducing Senator Thomas Corwin's proposed constitutional amendment, we can bar Congress from enacting any constitutional amendments banning or interfering with slavery. This measure is desperate, but uh, so is the situation. It's alright, don't worry about it. It's all good. And now this is what? Favor of two per state and UH. American Kansas. Alright. Conservative back part. It's always a good Democrat to keep winning. Can we just get someone who lets us do state capitalism? Can we get some reactionaries in? And of course, conservatives declare victory again. God dang it. Oh, they do have a navy over there. How's the war going for Brazil? Uh, not great. I mean, guys. Yeah, these guys are sucking it up. Oh, we maybe peace out with these guys, maybe independently. Add war goals, pay reparations, there you go. Doesn't cost us anything. Actually, you know what? Screw this. What is this? Sure. Get involved. I don't, I don't want to come down there, so. Nice. Moral Crusaders? Good. So that should open up another... Well, they... Yeah, I don't really care about this too much, so let's just piece them out. I don't care. Not for peace terms? Nope. Oh, god dang it. I should not have got involved. But, hey, lessons learned. All right, in the drunk tank, more and more social, religious, and educational institutions in the U.S., primarily from the educated middle classes, are coming to see the influence of alcohol on society as a moral and social wrong. Pointing at the effects and costs in terms of broken homes, windows, and spirits, they urge temperance, and even some going so far as to support calls for outright prohibition. Brewery owners in Cincinnati are concerned by the development, and wish to see the future privilege to sell and manufacture alcohol guaranteed. Was it worth it to you? Uh, sadly, we cannot make any guarantees. Eh. Um, I'm not really too concerned about alcohol right now. Just saying. Let's just unemploy. I've been around to all workplaces in the city, but I just can't seem to get a break, sir. I wonder what to do. I cannot go home and let the grass grow around my feet all day. My family trusts me to support them, but what should a poor sod do when there are no jobs available? What do you mean? With jobs scarce and creditors inversely plentiful, many from the poor classes are having trouble making ends meet. And? Ooh, I don't want to do that one. They call poor people for a reason. Jesus. <laughs> Build local reform for support. Yeah, I like that one. Build local reform. I think that's always nice to do. Good thing to do. Grassroots movements, you know. Now, getting involved is probably a bad idea. Uh, increase the relations again. You never know. Actually, you know, when, before we finish this, before we, let's say, <clears throat> technically, say, hypothetically, we were to switch sides and go somewhere else, we might want to uh, 
piss off a lot of people. Four Crusaders, Norway goes bankrupt, that's fine, whatever, don't really care about Norway right now. Uh, suppress it. Southern Bell, and where is this, Manassas? Oh, that makes sense, Manassas is right there, so. Right here. Southern Labo. Not bad, not bad. Seriously, we're just going to peace out as soon as we possibly can. They only, well, Napoleon wins the elections again, huh. I just don't want to get involved, I really don't. I'm sorry. American boys aren't worth dying for South America. Then again, I guess technically, we did come up down here, so. It is what it is. Actually, how many people live down here? There's a lot of Germans. There... Are we making this? There's a, lot, a couple Yanks down here, huh? There are even some Dixiecrats. Dixiecrats? No, just Dixie soldiers. Culture. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. How's immigration? Oh, we're so green. That's so beautiful. Uh, military alliance with Prussia, that makes sense. Cool. Oh, and we got another army. Another army of uh, the Union. Nice. Totally not going to send them out somewhere else to die. Totally not. Cool. We got 59,000. Not bad, not bad. Not taxing the rich people, which makes sense for now. Please. Um, Enforced payment, actually. Southern Bell, where is this one? Augusta, okay. Door Knights this time. Uh, you know what? Actually, are they, do they have it already or not? Oh, they do have it, so, you know what, screw it, we'll just keep going on then. Doesn't matter to me. Since we already have enough infamy reduction for now. Because, wink, wink, I still gotta go through some comments. Let's jazz. When am I gonna do a mega campaign? I don't know, that'd be really cool if we did a mega campaign sometime. Uh, the old man in the sea. A fisherman off the Atlantic City coast has brought in an enormous cash today. His trawler is practically teeming with the riches of the riches. The riches of the richest of oceans as he anchors in the harbor. And fairly soon other fishermen are able to repeat his example. The fishing is unusually good in the Atlantic City this year, it seems. Excellent. Ah, uh, sure, why not that one? Uh, but yeah, like, when am I going to do a mega campaign? I don't know. Slavery continues in continues our nation. Slavery that every controversial policy has continued in our nation. Private ho? Oh, that's not good. Oh, the end date is still 1935. Oh, that sucks. Eh, happens. Anarcho-liberals, a group of liberals disgruntled with their lack of economic freedom and the pace of parliamentary reform, have formed a new faction in American politics. The anarcho-liberals are the revolutionary avant-garde of the liberal ideology, and they will not hesitate to use whatever means necessary to see their ideas of freedom and free trade instituted both in the United States of America and abroad. Of course, we, America, would found or begin the anarcho-liberal movement. Go figure. Portugal, thank you. Our industry kids are kind of lacking behind, man. Laissez faire, man. Underground Railroad, shut it down. Cool, and where is it? The Radical Party. I still don't like them. I like the pro military and the full citizenship, but. Oh no, man. Empire Brazil, thank you. Well, actually, Brazil should be able to get this stuff done. As long as they're not dumb. Because they did take it over, technically, so. Where is Colombia? Well, at least until I lose it. If they lose it, then we'll just kind of give up on the war. I've already given up on the war anyways, but it doesn't really matter to me too much. I'm ready to go to war with Mexico. Can we build any more soldiers yet? Yeah, we can. Oh, we have one guy there. Let's go do that one then. And, yeah, we have quite a few Yankee soldiers. It'd be a shame if I sent them out to die. Foreign cuisine? Let's go with less consciousness. That's pretty important. Oh! Oh! Wait. We're fighting these guys, aren't we? Technically, we are. South Brute. A coup d'etat. Nice! And we're staying government done. Yeah, we're getting to this Mexican war very late. It's alright. This one should be too bad to do romanticism, so. Oh, let's do that. And pause the game because we got another national focus we can do. Cool. Radical Party. Mississippi. Louisiana. You still don't have this stuff done? Jesus Christ. That takes so long. Florida. Oh, well, you're not even a state yet. You're more bureaucrats down there. Probably make Florida a slave state. Probably. They're quite Dixie. Or not quite uh, Native American minor. I thought they were quite Yankee down here. Um, suppress a society. There you go. Quite Dixie. Quite Dixie. Even though Florida does not have a large population. 14,000. That's... Whew, that's not very much. Not gonna lie. Not very much. Prussia. Well, let's stop improving relations. Maybe the Spanish will increase relations. It doesn't matter to me too much right now. All I want... Oh, two Sicilies is not too bad. All I want is for us to be able 
too. Um, get a circle that's golden. That's all I want right now. Tensions dissipate. Tensions in Tallahassee, Florida have been running quite high for some time. But lately there seems to have been a change in the wind. Things seem calmer in the area for some reason, and many militants are returning to useful occupations. It might be that we're perceived as too strong to resist, but it also might be that just the anger has burned itself out. Excellent. And our core population is what? 22 million? Not bad. Population-wise, where are we at? Ah, Tennessee is quite Yankee. Venezuela? Yeah, Tennessee is quite Yankee in some areas. I mean, yeah, Kentucky is quite Yankee as well. But there's still a, a, quite a big minority of uh, Dixie soldiers, too. West Virginia is very Dixie. Extremely Dixie and African-American. Wow. They got a lot of slaves and Afro-Americans down there, huh? Cool. Uh, let's see. Venezuela, you want to join the war, too? Well, they're coming in. Not much, but they're coming in. And about a third done with romanticism, which is fine with us. So, but I love this whole culture map mode. Uh, what is this over here? Afro Antillian. Oh, what is this? Fugitive slave. Where am I? He wakes up screaming, being a, upon being told that he's found collapsed just a few yards north across from the Pennsylvania border. He starts laughing. It's a calm laugh, interrupted only by the occasional cough. Pennsylvania, I'm in Pennsylvania. Oh merciful Lord, I'm in Pennsylvania. The man is a slave, escaped from some or some other plantation down south of the Mason Dixon line. He's wounded, but still alive. What perils he has suffered on his way to Philadelphia, only the good Lord knows. Federal law mandates that he be returned to his owner. The law's the law. He stays here. Um, the law's the law. You know, things happen. And what's over here? Is this Cherokee? Okay, that's Cherokee. That's cool. Native American miner. What else is there? Afro-American. Okay. Colonial progress. Oh, look at this. One of our colonies is reporting astounding successes in the development of local commercial ventures and business to the colonial office. According to the local governor, the primary reason seems to be an ambitious land reform undertaken in tandem with American capitalists and industrialists. The colony is reportedly becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the report reflects well on our industrialists as well. Fantastic news. Cover the report, lest the capitalists get uppity. Fantastic news. We love Colorado. Sometimes. And about halfway done with romanticism, which is nice. All right, so let's take a look here. Are we done yet with these guys? No, my goodness. You guys take forever. Um, I still want more soldiers. A South Peruvian Th Thaw. How's the war effort going between these guys? I'm just over overseeing the war right now, so. Oh, uh, Hungary's having some problems. Or, I guess, Austria's having some problems. There you go. There you go, nice. That was a waste of time for us, but whatever. I don't really care. Argentina. Thank you for joining us. Chile. Hey, might as well do this too. Might as well try to get... Oh, hello. Oh, we can do both. I don't really care. Let's just do all the... It says we can go that way. We go, we'll go all the way. Come on, let's get that done. I want to get Manifest Destiny for this episode, so my apologies for taking so long with this. It just it is what it is. Meh. Okay, that's that's going up quite quickly, which is very good to see. Nice. Oh, look at that. There's some immigrants here, too. Albanian people? Uh, oh, flood of Mississippi. I think we read this last time, so the levees aren't holding. Cool. Bulgarians? Love it. Actually, oh, New York has got a lot of population. Makes sense. Some Jews up here, some Irish folk. A lot of them are assimilating to become Yankees. Ohio, the girl from Chattanooga. Cool. How unfortunate. I wonder if we could really turn Hispaniola Dixie. I don't think we'll be able to. There's a lot of afro Antillians, but... And you can't really assimilate them. And no one here is really assimilating. We've got some Jews down here, too. That's cool. Bulgarian. Uh, Catalan. Oh, hold on. Adjust the parliament. A Yankee. Assimilating the Yankee seems to be very easy. Even 1% of Hispaniola is already Yankee, which is awesome. And it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the order long established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house is addressed parliament today, with a lionizing speech to the nation and its manifold glories. Excellent. Let's keep lowering uh, consciousness for now, because I still want to go to war soon enough, so. Another comment uh, asks, when am I going to do Austria in Victoria 2? That's a good question. That's a very good question, so. I'm not sure, but I'd love to eventually. Savannah, that's cool. That's, that one's basic. Ah, here we go. Finally, thank God. Manifest Destiny, what all Americans dream of. To bring civilization from coast to shining coast has always been the grand mission of our great republic. Let the eagle spread its wings, for the love of God, yes. The Mexicans have refused our generous offer. Our only recourse is force of arms. Oh, no. The military target practice? We lose a prestige. Actually, for the budget, we're not actually spending too little on our guys right now, so... We've already maxed it out because we want to encourage people to join the military, so. I forgot about our ships down here, too. My bad. 
Whoopsie! Um, I'm actually not looking too bad. Coming to New Orleans. New Orleans. You son of a gun. We want taxes back. And you're gonna pay us for it. There you go. Let's go this too. Idealism is super important. Alright, boys. Sons of the South and Sons of the North, let's move on out. Actually, we have another army up here too. Cool. Actually, we can call all of our allies in and attack them, right? That'd be really cool. Oh, they won't accept. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's do Spain. Spain is, well, pain, as they do like to say. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to take Colombia for myself. We already went to war with them. Peru we kind of went to war with already. Paraguay. There you go. I'll influence Paraguay, too. Spain is pain. Romanticist art. Very cool. Social reform desire. Nice. Secession of sentiments. Nice. Very good. Bureaucracy versus nepotism. You find a Mexican army, you destroy it. Texas will become part of America again. I swear to God. I should have left them in there, but whatever. Are you both here? Uh, I'm sending you over here then. San Antonio, which I have not been to in a very long time. Oh, Texas is going to be ours. They're probably gearing up for a big old battle between us, but whatever. Sicily? There you go. Sicily, never heard of it. Mexico, what are you doing? That's a lot of... Wow, we just killed a 5,000 of them. So, we have a minus one. That's a really good dice roll. He's really good on attack. And this guy's not too bad either. Just just killing thousands of Mexicans a day. Jesus Christ, that's insane. But, a romanticist music. Ah, uh, romanticism. I'm sure we can't be bothered with the ghetto. Eh, get some more plurality. Oh, well, we lost 7,600 versus 21,000, so I'm feeling pretty good about that, not gonna lie. And what do we have here? Empire of Brazil. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's quite a few guys. Oh, uh, you guys are good enough. Let's go down here, too. Reynosa. Actually, might not be able to get down there in time before killing them all off. Rebel scum? Oh, no. Well, historically, Wisconsin was a slave state, so... There you go. Yeah, this is a New York one, so we're okay with beating him up. Cool. And you're almost done here, too. And Paso del Norte? Very cool. Oh, guys, where are you going? I'm gonna find this army and kill it off. Swear to God, man. Cool. Sorry for the click on the keyboard. That's speech of Parliament. Uh, let's see. And I believe, therefore, that freedom shall it not perish from this realm. Our needs are constant vigilance on this behalf. A liberal member of the upper house has held a rousing speech in Parliament, criticizing the government for what he claims is a failure to amend the rising tide of social unrest in the country. How should the government respond? Stop the move? Let them do as they please. Eh, that's fine. We lose a little bit plurality. We've already increased plurality by a whole bunch anyway, so... The Mexican army shall be fully defeated, as much as possible. God dang it. Click that one. God, I love my map games too much, man. <sighs> Very good. And there goes another 3,000 of them. Delicious. Ah, and there goes 15,000! There you go, I don't really care. And how, how well is this war going? Add war goals? Acquire cores? Oh yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so other comments included, when Vicky 3 comes out, what nation will I play as first? Uh, I'm not really sure what I'll play as first. I'm thinking about maybe Germany or maybe one of the other European nations, maybe Japan or China. We'll see. It's too early to say, but we'll see. But standard New York Cement. New York has been making quite a name for itself in the cement industry over the past few years. What started out as small town production and a family business has now grown to an industry big enough to support the entire province and named the standard New York Cement is becoming a household name. American cement recipes from New York are being admired and imitated across the world. Social responsibility, profit. I kind of like the profit. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go with profit, because that means our capitalists have more money, right? And we want our capitalists to have a lot, a lot of money. Let that army run on this track for now. I don't think that they can escape our wrath. Mexico. Pay reparations. Southern Bell and Port au Prince. That's kind of cool. Oh, there you go. 
How many Dixie soldiers do you have here? Dixie dudes and women. Well, they're switching to Yankee, but that's all right with us. Hispaniola, Hispaniola, 1.2%, not bad. Yeah, you don't have that many Dixie people here, so it is what it is. It's fine. Oh, segregation. Uh, well, there you go. Cool, and Paral. I'm completely avoiding these guys up here. Hey, there you go. Actually, you guys go up there, Santa Fe. Have, have some fun down in Santa Fe. Down in Santa Fe, north in Santa Fe. Cool, and keep doing this parkour just because we can. Thank you. Doesn't cost a single god dang thing. And see, someone says, okay, so this is why I waited to get more. Ooh, we have a lot of infamy now. That's not good. We gotta cut that down quite a bit. And agreed by force? That's fine. Um, so apparently, when we peace out with Mexico, we'll result in two options. It's gonna cost us. Okay, so we can do the normal option, take everything historically. Or we can take the other option, apparently. That'll give us even more Mexican territory than what was historically uh, wanted or t taken. But it'll give us 15 infamy and we get Mexico as a puppet. So we gotta really cut down some of that infamy before I have to release somebody else before that happens, so. So yeah. That's why I'm a little worried about infamy now, but it's still going down, so. Los Altos? The Brugia. Um... Guatemala has a core on them. I don't mind if they get taken out, so. Sorry, goodbye. Whoa, 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 what is this? French War of Rhinelander Freedom. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's not good for Prussia. Wait, Bulgaria just... Whoa, whoa. Bulgaria just broke free. Holy crap. Oh, I guess it's... Okay, now they're fighting the UK, too. That's pretty good to see. That is... Okay. Well then, <laughs> oh, they're up here. The Mexicans are up here. Oh, uh, makes sense. Whatever. Those are just colonies we don't really care about too much right now. It's only Washington and such. <sighs> All right, so we're missing one of the Dixie soldiers. So it's one of these groups. Is it this one, yeah, it's this one. And they need actually quite a bit more supplies. Can we build any more? A lot more Yankees because we're really enforcing them here. Actually, because we're at peace. Or not peace, but pause, I should really say. There you go, thank you. Yeah, done. You should be able to do uh, that very soon. I'm not sure, even if you get 100% bureaucrats, we still can't do it yet, which kind of sucks. Oh, okay, that makes sense. We're not allowed to do it during war, which makes actually a lot of sense. All right, let's fix up Kentucky here. Get some bureaucrats, and over here, let's grab some bureaucrats as well. I would like to get some intellectuals, but we'll get there eventually. We will. For now, actually, we can get rid of you then, and maybe we'll start integrating uh, Oklahoma. Start integrating some of these places. I want as many slave states as possible before the war breaks out, so. Come on, get some idealism so we get some more research points. We've fallen down in prestige a little bit, but after this war, we should be quite prestigious. Well, I don't know about how prestigious, but fairly prestigious. And boom, Arenos. Cool. Just in case. We want everything. I want it all. We are hungry. Oh. Cut down France's size. Okay. They value the kings, huh? No, that's fine, you know what, we'll be an ally. Just don't fight us again, and we'll be cool about that. Capiche? Capiche. <sighs> Mexico's never looked so good. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Harriet uh, Beecher Stowe's novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, first published in 52, was one of the most widely read anti-slavery novels ever written. So large it was perceived impact on the growing national consciousness over the issue of slavery that Abraham Lincoln, upon meeting Stowe at the start of the Civil War, was reported having, as having greeted her. So this is the little lady who made the big war. The publication of Uncle Tom's Cabin has increased national consciousness over the slavery issue. So this is the little lady. She is directly responsible for the Civil War. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, good times. Tepic? That's like Tepic, the Pokemon. Piggy. Sorry. Okay, cool. Chile? Yes, please. Ah, uh, I love the research points. Oh, um... We want a good relation, so yeah, I'll do that one for now. Actually, during the Civil War, maybe I could go to war straight with the... Actually, that'd be, that'd be really gamey. Going to war with the UK while starting off the American Civil War? That's really flipping gamey. Even, even doing that, in my opinion, would be a bit too much. Um, let's get inorganic chemistry. I think that'd be uh, fertilizer. Our, our supply. Mm, kind of want more rows. Let's go with rows. It's, it's cheap. It's relatively cheap to do. 
We're not going to attack in the mountains either. That'd be suicide. <sighs> California. Only been there once. So we can go again sometime. California's a really massive state, actually. It'd be really cool to go back to California. What I would like to do is get rid of this stupid political party that doesn't let me intervene in the economy. Oh, we have elections. Populism versus the establishment. Political reform desire, nice. Wartime election. We must maintain stability even in a time of war. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Pop consciousness goes way up now. 54, fine. I like this one. As American and British settlers began to move to the west coast of North America, there's been a growing dispute as to who owns the Orkin country. The entire region west of the Rockies, called Columbia by the British, has been explored by both countries, and there are legitimate claims on either side. The British claim all the way south to the 42nd parallel, and the Americans north to the 54th. It's clearly a tense situation, and the specter of war with the British looms as politicians in its current election campaign are banging the drums of manifest destiny in order to gain support. All of Oregon belongs to us? So, on a compromise. Wait, what? Claims in Colombia. Washington. Okay, so we're going to claim... Okay, we could claim all of British, Southern British Columbia. Well, it gives a lot more infamy that we can't really afford right now. Yeah, as much as I want British Columbia right now, we don't need to take it, so... Compromise. I think that would be okay. The Oregon Treaty. The British have agreed to a compromise splitting the Oregon country between us and the 49th parallel. Any British land held by us will be returned over to them, and vice versa. Though some Americans are upset, many others are breathing a sigh of relief. This will settle the matter for once and for all. And we got more prestige. What's not to love? And we like the UK even more. When fighting over territory, we can usually come to a compromise, unless you're Mexico. Just saying. Sorry. Sorry if you're Mexican. But not really. Somewhat, but not really. Alright, Mexico, you gotta pay up even more. Mexican Wyoming, that sounds so cursed. Ah, oh, Cheyenne. Ah, yeah, that's Mexican Wyoming right there. San Diego? Oh, yes, baby. A slavery debate? No, 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 we're not touching slavery. That is an issue we do not want to touch right now. Full citizenship, full steam ahead. I want max assimilation. I want to assimilate them so hard. Just so hard. Just, oh my god. Assimilate harder, please. Oh, yes. Mexico? No. So, uh, I want to see what this trade deal is like. Trade deal, it's not trade deal. Um, Colorado. Oh, I want Texas. Yeah. Tough nuts. We're going to get Texas or bust. This slavery debate? Nope. Not talking about them. Not talking about it. See, that's what, like one of my Discord server. People want to talk about politics? I don't talk about it. We're still blockading them, too, so... Mexico, please. Please. Just just stay there for now. We're going to get this done faster than they can, so it's fine with us. There is one faith, and one faith only. Cool. And we're almost done with that, so that's not too bad. There you go. Cool. Ah, that's a coup d'etat, huh? Okay, cool. You know what? Mexico can deal with those rebels. Copperheads? Wow, Mexico City. You have ah, the good old Jacobins. Um, yeah, actually, we need to be a peace for a little bit longer. Battle Flagstaff. Oh, cool. All right, Mexico wants a peace deal. Nope. Uh, let's see, immigrant riots. Let's uh, let us listen to the grievances for now. That's fine. Whoa, the Liberal Party actually won. Whoa, a Southern Bell. Oh, yes. Bowling Green. Is that Kentucky or Ohio? We actually got another party into the... Oh, my God, yes. We were Democrat with limited citizenship, which is not bad. But now we've got the Whigs here. And we can actually intervene in the economy. Yes. Yes, we do believe in free trade, of course. But basically, they're not, there's not a huge difference between us. The Democrats were more jingoistic. But everything else is literally the same except for full citizenship as well. So minorities can vote? All cultures can vote? Oh, and my America... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I can tax poor people. I don't want to tax the middle class too much, though. Oh, come on. Money go up. Money go up. Green number go up. Yes. Sorry, I get too excited about this game. Liberals declare victory. Nice. Man, wartime really makes you go wild. Wickedness must be stamped out. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, Jesus Christ, Mexico. What you... Well, you're at war with us, so what do you expect? All right, we really need to do this. So, I might have to liberate somebody here, then. 109. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, that's only 53. Okay, well, whatever. I guess that makes sense. Wow. Oh, they're fighting Austria-Hungary and... Ooh. Well, then, that... 
Okay. Alright, so... Encourage war. Wait, support for the current war is weak. With a little war effort, we could start a propaganda campaign to convince them otherwise. We lose prestige, plurality, and war exhaustion. Huh. Eh, that doesn't really look right. Anything else here? Ooh, Commodore Perry's expedition. Okay, we would be at peace. And get some infamy. Um, uh, instruct even border, border control policy. Ah, here's a treaty of Guadalupe Hildago. Should we get a convincing enough victory over the Mexicans, we'll be able to force them to the negotiating table in order to discuss the surrendering of all the claims of the land north of the Rio Grande in exchange for a fair price, of course. So, we need to control Mexico City. Okay, that's the next thing we gotta do. So that's what we have to... Oh, I don't know, man. That's a lot of Mexicans in there. That doesn't look like a lot of... I'm just gonna dance around them first. Yeah, that doesn't look like a very good situation for us. Yeah, I don't know. As much as I want to burn Mexico City to the ground, we do need to spend a little bit more time uh, cutting down some stuff, such as, uh, uh, like, infamy. But just in case, I'm going to save the game for us. I know this is taking a while, but this is super important for us here in this camp part of the campaign. I have a big old Navy still there, huh? Welcome home, countrymen. I, ple I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the government for which it stands. Not one dry eye, dry, eye dry in the audience in Evansville today, as some of our immigrants took today took the pledge of allegiance and confirmed their loyalty to the American state. Welcome home, countrymen. Nice. Ah, beautiful. Oh. Well. The Partido Liberal. <laughs> cool. That's actually really good. They lost some... Oh, they got some prestige, actually. They actually got prestige. Got a lot of words about the American way. Um, I think I read this one last time. So we want to build this because we're ahead. More liberal in South Carolina. Cool. And just in case, let's look at this again. Just because I want to make sure that we're using our national focuses uh, to the best of their ability. Uh, West Virginia, you need some bureaucrats. You guys are still doing some soldier stuff. That's fine with us. Oh, oh yes, we can build roads. I forgot about that. Yes, 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 yes. Alabama, yes. I don't care what they need. I want to give them roads. North Carolina already has some roads. Florida. Oh, we're going to spend a lot of money on infrastructure. We're going to be spending big bucks. You, me, and big bucks. This loyal regiment. A colonial regiment in one of our states threatens to spring into open rebellion, following dissatisfaction over being led by American commanders. According to military reports, the native recruits have had a hard time adapting to the strict military discipline of a modern army, but a minority report from the colonial office speaks of several instances of pugilism and poor behavior from our officers. We should shoulder responsibility. No, lazy natives need to learn to adapt. Mm. Ah, Mexico City. You, me, and Mexico City. What could be better than that? Actually, are we increasing our infamy here? No, it's not. I went just down by point one. Oh, we have an expert diplomat. Oh, that's really good. Oh, Mexico. Actually, we need this thing to fire, so... We gotta get Mexico City first. Nope. We need more money, too. Sorry, middle class. Sorry, Cement. Ethnic flavor. Um, let's see. Foreign immigrants arriving in new countries often find themselves living together concentrated in relatively small areas, living in close proximity to and seeking mutual support from their national brethren, often forming little ethnic enclaves such as New York's Little Italy. Charleston is no exception, as the immigrant community there has formed to just a thing, complete with the cultural, linguistic, and culinary flavors of the immigrants' homeland. A victory for tolerant society. An excellent opportunity to promote local harmony. Eh, we're, we have already enough consciousness, so that's fine. We love and having a tolerant, tolerant society. Um, I know that would be dipple points. Well worth spent. Very well worth spent. And we're done there. Cool. Uh, let's make sure that even Virginia's got some roads. Hopefully some oh, we probably... Yeah, level one. Underground Railroad, shut it down. Nope. Not here. Not in my America. God, I sound like a crazy person. I'll be honest. I sound like... Or maybe I sound like a logical person. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I don't know. What is this here? Oh, the Free Soil Party is defunct. And oh, the Republican Party, huh? Uh, they're the liberals, right? So this Whigs. The Republicans, they love full censorship. They don't believe in any god. And then uh, pro-military interventionism. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm fine with the Democrats or the Republicans. I don't really care as long as we don't have laissez-faire for now. Laissez-faire later on is fine with me. Totally, 100% all the way, but... Manifest Destiny is just too good and I have. Alright, so we got... We got the thing. So we gotta get more money. I'll be honest. Any court... Oh, we gotta do any court province. Uh, okay, so we gotta make sure we take all this stuff as well. And make sure none of this stuff is still taking over, so... Paraguay? 
Sorry, it's been a, it's been a long time since I've actually like in my own personal time taking out Mexico, um, by myself and just like done America. It's been a very long time for me. So, uh, we need more money still. What, do, what can we decrease? Administration? Yeah, we can do that one. There you go. Abolitionist pamphlets. An extensive tract describing the purpose and unconstitutionality of slavery as being widely disseminated in Jefferson City. Allowing its continued circulation might upset the lower class, where it has seen its wider circulation, but attempting to curtail distribution will definitely be regarded as an attack on the freedom of speech, which will anger the district's big wigs. Should we try to curtail distribution? Nay. A. Shh, it's okay. Less, yes. Less than 11 infamy right now is good. And right now we're going to just try to get more money. Straight up, just get more money. Uh, we could probably cut down spending just a little bit more now. That's fine with us. Gotta get more money every single day. Big money, big money. Conservatives swing in the upper house. Um, strong popular support combined with rising militancy for a conservative national policy has led to friction in the upper house. Several liberal members of parliament are considering defection to the conservative faction. And only ham-handed use of the party whip could possibly keep the liberals in their places. Let them go. Crack the whip. As much as I love cracking whips, we're okay for now. I pledge allegiance. Great. And this is in where? Huntington, huh? West Virginia. Okay, cool. Tiffle points. Uh, nope. Sorry, guys. Not really sorry, though. And Austria Hungary. Thank you again. Sorry about your war. But not my problem. <laughs> nice. There we go. Yeah, that too. Cool. Yeah, at this point, I'm just mopping everything up here. This one go really fast. It's in a longer Mexican American war. But it has much more devastating consequences for Mexico, so. You win some, you lose some, and Mexico didn't definitely not win this one. We need a lot of money for this. And what's over here? Oh, we can do a, a thingamabob. And, oh, we get one of these, yes! It's not as detailed as HPMs or HFMs, but that's okay. Uh, what do people want? Moralism, full citizenship, uh, outlaw slavery, and having slavery allowed. What do the people want? We already have a drink of minimum wage. Minimum safety laws, trinket subsidies. They don't really care too much. Okay, well, I like a school system. I love healthcare. So, we'll do healthcare first. No, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do schools. I'm doing schools first. And then healthcare, maybe. It depends what we get, where we get, so. Nice. Uh, Mexico. I always think of Mexico when, uh, when I'm playing Old World Blues. So much population. Oh, there we go. Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. So just in case, let's save, because that they shouldn't have taken any territory, but it was my bad, whatever. Uh, our core population right now, the population total is 24 and a half million, and during the war, people love America. I mean, just love America. But the treaty. Cool. Fair price. Mexico has signed the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, seeing all American claim territories to our control for now. The relations between our two countries can return to normal. A wise move, huh? Ah, so here we go. Um, so that's weird. I thought we were supposed to be able to get. Someone did say that we get like an event, and we can get him as a puppet and stuff. Huh. Very odd. Okay. An astounding victory for the U.S. of A. Today, as it has now become clear that the Mexican New America. American New Mexico will, as has been expected for some time, be taken up into the American patrimony with full rights of national statehood. One question that still remains as subtle is, however, the issue of slavery. Slavery can be extended within a country, and the question on the table is whether we wish to extend the institution to American New Mexico or not. Same thing with what? California? Yes, California was a slave state. The Wilmot Proviso. Congressman David Wilmot has suggested a bill that will ban slavery in any state acquired from the Mexican secession. Supporting the Proviso will greatly calm northern fears over slave power, but also increase southern fears of abolitionism. Do it to piss people off. Alright, not bad. So, yeah, I guess we... There you go. Now they're done. Cool. And yeah, okay, so the Dixie soldiers are very hurt right now, so that's not very good. Um... And honestly, at this point, in my mind, I think that the Civil War could fire at any moment just because consciousness is so flippin' high. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys to Baltimore and we're gonna we're gonna go on a little vacation. A fun little vacation. So, and you're gonna come to Atlantic City over here. We're gonna stop doing that. We're actually gonna go ahead and promote population uh, soldier growth. Oh, we need more bureaucrats over here? That's fine. Cool, right there. And other national focuses. You're right there, obviously. Kentucky is done. You guys get some more bureaucrats as well. You guys are almost done, and you guys are still getting there, so not too bad. And we're there by the wigs, so we won't have enough 
money for a while. Mexico. I uh, guess they're in our sphere now. Uh, I'm going to say no. Why? Just because eventually we will have to beat the crap out of them eventually again. So, yeah. Wow, look how many immigrants we have here. Irish, Italians, Polish, Spanish. <sighs> I love immigration, man. And we got Jews down here, too. I mean, it's awesome. That's a whole smorgasbord of people down here. That's, oh my god, look at that! Brazilians, Catalans, Greeks, Irish, Lithuanians, Germans, Italians, Argentinians, or Platinians, or something like that. God, I love America so much. Change your name. Change your goddamn name. Sit on the borders of Texas. Now that we've integrated Texas, we need to get set some official borders for the state. More reasonable border? Let them have their claims. Oh! Oh! Oh, I don't know. Should I give Texas all their full claims? I, I kind of want to. I kind of really want to have them gather claims, but... I, someday, I want to play as Texas. But I'm not sure which mod I should use. Because playing as Texas, I've done it before in my own time. It's incredibly difficult to play as Texas, at least in my own opinion. If you have any mod suggestions for me to play as Texas in Vicky 2, please let me know. Because I would love to do a pure Texan run someday. But look, for now, I guess we'll just do... Um, Texans could rise up. Ah, screw it. Let them have their claims. Let's call the Lone Star State for a reason, right? All right, I don't want lower education. Administration, I don't really care about as much. Lower this a little bit more. Do Southern Label. Very cool. And pay whatever loan we have right now. Oh, God, that's so bad. Uh, sure, guys. That's fine. The War of Burmese Pegu. Ooh. There you go. And we're making some good money now. The Mormon Exodus. After balancing their home enclave of Nauvoo, Illinois, the Mormons have elected to head west to settle in the Salt Lake Valley, where they can practice their faith without hindrance. Led by Brigham Young, the Mormons suffered great hardship, but eventually did reach their destination and prosper just as well. Oh, Deseret. Oh, God. Oh, they're going to make so many babies over there. Early archaeology. Very cool. That's weird. We didn't get that event for it, huh? Maybe you're supposed to peace out normally? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments below if you think that it should have been different. But yeah, I don't want to ally with them. I don't want... When, when we're playing as a good old one type of nation here, I don't want to fight them later on, so... In the end, though, once we do play as these guys, that'd be kind of cool, but we'll see what happens. I really don't know. Fire Eaters. It has put at rest forever all the agitating questions relating to a particular institution. Its words are soft-spoken, but carry an inner flame of righteous anger directed at anyone and anything he deems as threatening the institution of slavery. Fire Eaters, radical pro-slavery agitators, have appeared in Staunton. All men are created equal. Never were truer words spoken. The war against Taiping? Cool. Hey, there we go. I thought it was going to be Florida. Nice. Thank you very much. Is there even a question about this? <sighs> yes. Nice. Uh, Administration-wise, we're going to... Ooh, we're doing actually not too bad up here. Let's do Minnesota. Minnesota is a very progressive state, so they want to keep slavery, probably. That's how it works, right? So we did the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. So, every 10,000 we get, we're going to lose that 10,000 to pay it off, so. And, you know, that's weird. We didn't even need to do the Gadsden, um, or the Gadsden Agreement or something like that for, like, Tucson. Cultural enrichment. Well, bragging rights plus one? Sure, why not? Very weird. Very odd. Debtors' prison. As the 19th century dawned on Europe, the practice of jailing people who defaulted on their debt was still the norm. In England, infamous examples of such institutions, debtors' prisons included London's Fleet Prison. In these institutions, debtors were not seldom expected to pay for both board and room, and sometimes even special janitor fees, or jailers' fees, to effectively pay their jailers for the upkeep. Oftentimes, these practices only served to further complicate the debtors' financial situation, as it, for natural reasons, is hard to earn money while inside a prison wall. The prison system was gradually abandoned in most European countries throughout the 19th century, and London's Fleet Prison was torn down in 1846. A wrongly Jewed American aristocrat is now drawing public attention to these institutions calling for their abolishment. 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 I'm not convinced people need to learn hard lessons or learn lessons of life. Yeah, that's true, but we can... I'm sure there's a way we can work it out. Nevada's looking very bureaucratic. There's a lot of Mexicans in there. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. A ghetto? Let's investigate it. Oh, no. Uh, do we already pay everything here? Neo-Kantian idealism? Maybe we already did. Cool. Alright, so Guatemala and Peru. Cool. And Peru, thank you. And since we have so much money, well, we don't have that much money, let's continue building up some roads. Where's the road button? There it is, infrastructure. Louisiana. Oh, well, it costs a lot of money. God dang it. <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. North Carolina, keep, keep working on your road system. Segregation? It doesn't really matter to me. More important concerns. 
All right, wickedness must be stamped out. What's the infrastructure level here? It's just 16%. Down here, it's like zero, so... <laughs> oh, God, that's not good. All right, let's go and send you guys over. Uh, we need to do some serious policing actions in... Was it Haiti? Supply loans are actually really good still, so it doesn't really matter to me where we send them. Let's go on down to Uruguay. Totally not for any evil reason. Totally not at all. So you guys head on up there. Oh, you can actually make another division. Oh, uh, sure, why not? Make a cannon. Yankee cannons. Jesus. Look at how many people here. This is a minority-majority place. 46% are, like, Platian. Well, the rest are made up of Yankees, Brazilians, Italians, Irish, Afro-American, even Dixies down here. Oh, my gosh. God, I love America. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't get over myself with just America. Just, it's such a cool place. Not perfect by any means, but still good. There you go. Oh, what was that? Ah, it doesn't matter. Oh, we want to do Japan as well. Uh, we have more than enough infamy for this too, so. Oh, who do we do? Is, is it Shogun of Japan? Which Japan do we do here? Commodore's Expedition. Uh, oh, we need the Shogun of Japanese. Okay. Actually, you know what? Mm. Let's send you guys... On the west coast, actually, you said. Let them come down here first, because that is a good stopping point, because the Panama Canal is not even made yet, so that'll be okay with us. California. Due to its fertile farmland, fair weather, close access to the Pacific, and abundance of natural resources, including gold, the state of California is rapidly booming in population, showing an unprecedented demographic increase due to natural increase and mass immigration. California will be an integral part of the U.S. of A. in no time, and this upward trend is not looked to be ending so soon. Awesome. We love California sometimes. Ab abolitionists? Oh no! My button slipped, or my finger slipped, and clicked a button. What are we gonna do? Actually, how is the industry down here? A lot of things are closed. It'd be a real shame, a real shame if we decided to build up more manufacturing down in the south here. Uh, let's see, Virginia, but we can't really build anything because we, we're not even allowed to do that. But that's okay. It'd be a real shame if I destroyed all the industry in the north. Because playing as Confederacy is really difficult. Oh, Mexico? No. Oregon? Yeah. Yeah. California, not bad. There you go. Get some more roads. You need it. Alright, so you guys looking not too bad. You guys are doing okay now. Um, get, Oh, you're done with beer cuts over there too? Good, 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 good. Let's actually grab some intellectuals. Because we could probably really use them down... Definitely, definitely use some intellectuals in the south. Just saying. Uh, cool. Now to the Golden Circle. Oh, what is that? They tried to tra establish a chapter in the Chattanooga. We could attempt to suppress a society, but that would be perceived as an assault on our Republican traditions by local populace. Let them, let them be. Let them be. Actually, do we cut down this? We did. Right, we cut down our deaths too. There we go. That should drop out a little bit, right? I need to stop taxing the middle class so much. We need more money. And again, we could probably all use more money in our real life, right? Actually, we can cut that down too. Cool. Over here, let's go in and increase the relations with the Chinese, because why not? And Japanese, because why not? Cool. And let's get on over to the other coast. Hopefully they don't die on the boats over there. There you go. Yeah, send, send the Yanks over there. They'll be fine with this. Cool. Actually, go down to San Diego. And you guys are looking not great, but we could use another infantry, or, duh. Well, that's a lot of Yanks. Cannon division. Afro-American? Eh, I'm gonna wait for that. Oops, my bad. Hey, look at that. It's Nevada. A ghetto? Cool. Probably really pissing a lot of people off by doing this. And that's okay. I pledge allegiance. Yes, California. Good. Look at that poll. There's a lot of polls in Oregon. Culture-wise, how's it looking? Nationality. Got a lot of Texan support down here. A lot of African-American. Uh, this is solidly Yankee. Wow. Cool, we'll see what happens too. Especially with this area too. I kind of want to see what happens. Tensions dissipate. Good, good, good. Wickedness must still be stamped out. Native American miner over there. Oh, look at this. Our Zuni school system lost. Let's get some trinket health care. That'd be nice. Immigrant deported. A recent immigrant to Lexington was put on the returning ship back home again when a local police caught him stealing from a local street vendor. The case has caused much alarm among local immigrant communities, many of whom are unfamiliar with their justice system, who now fear that more deportations will follow. Uh, let's see. Eh, let's ask exactly what's going to happen. Cool. Now it's the going circle. There you go. 
Very nice. Consciousness is still going up pretty quickly. And actually, I kind of wonder, is there a way to see sphere of influence, supply limit, party loyalty, ranking, migration, civilization, crises? Uh, just Texas and probably stuff like that. RGL output is which is really useful. I'm looking for like, what states, what areas here have the potential to rise up? Or what? who has cores on our territory? Diplomatic stuff? Ah, yeah, look at all that. A lot of... Uh, the CSA is not even there yet. Okay, that's... We kind of can see that, sort of. Not really yet, but sort of. Cool. Fire Eaters? How's our population looking anyways? So, our vast majority is Yankee, with only Dixie 20%. African Americans are fall quickly followed up behind them. And then, Africa Caribbean. Cool, Mexicans 1.2%. Cool. Uh, a little bit less than half the population are farmers. Not bad, not bad. You guys are really struggling, aren't you? And France. And China. And Shogunate Japan. Cool. We wish them all the best in her marriage. Romance is in the air in Hot Springs, where a marriage between one of our local uh, province's immigrant sons and a local young girl was being celebrated by friends and family. Some decry the development as the end of American civilization, but the young couple sure do look happy. Immigration is changing. Hot Springs in both ways, big and small. We wish them the best. A clear sign that immigration must be curtailed. Eh, doesn't really matter for me right now. Oh, let's pay off some more debt. Yeah. America and debt. What? What's more normal than that? The Resolute Return. Late Mr. Resolute was a found adrift in the North Atlantic. After having been abandoned by the squadron in search for the lost Polar Explorer, John's Sir John Franklin, the U.S. bought the ship from salvagers, refitted the vessel, and returned it to Great Britain. It is ripe and proper to return it to them. Nice. It was good to be kind to of your neighbors. Well, not, maybe not always. Uh, intermarriage, wishing the best. Cool, look at that. Integrated Roto? Nope, not here. Minnesota? Nice. Cool. Alright, next one. Iowa's good. And Kansas. They need some roads in Kansas. They don't believe in roads? They're a bunch of weirdos, I say. Now the Golden Circle? Go right. St. Louis? That's fine with us. And we're about to get nationalism and imperialism, which is very nice. I, just, I want to maybe do more what? I don't want to do too much... Oh, crap. What are they doing down there? Ecuador, fine. Uh, but I don't want to get too much army development just because I don't want to give anyone an advantage where we go. So, and culture, biologism, I like that. I like inorganic chemistry, more production, commerce. I usually ignore for quite a bit. Organized factories are okay. More factory throughput. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's get at least one more in industrial thing done. We have another. Oh, oh wait, where are all these guys now? Oh crap! Did you realize that Argentina? Oh, what is this? Peruvian liberation? I'll be honest, I don't really care. I've, oh, this Ecuador. Well, that's my bad. I'm going to piece them out with them whenever we can. So, the Valley of the Kings. Um, if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. This happens every Victoria 2 campaign, so... Nice. More for me. Whatever. They grant a, a permit. Great. And then encourage war? Oh, I don't really care. An archaeological museum. Oh, let's close out of it. What does that say? Oh, it's down here. Now that we've ex excavation rights for our expedition, we should establish a museum in our capital for our artifacts. Yeah, sounds pretty good to us. All right, so what else do we have here? Political party, the Whigs. Oh, oh, now we're Republicans. Oh, we got rid of the Whigs. Okay, well. All right then. Whatever. I don't really care. How was South Carolina and intellectualism? Uh, not very good. Okay, well, whatever. Hmm. We could still use more bureaucrats, probably. Let's keep expanding all the states to become slave states first, though. That'd be a good good goal to have. Welcome home, countrymen. We're getting dangerously close to the end here. More crusaders. I really just don't care about this, I'll be honest. And suppress the society. I just can't get care too much in the South American War. Greece goes bankrupt, pretty normal. Well, Brazil, you still like us? Yes, they do. They like us quite a bit, actually. Ah, I'm glad Brazil divides us here, so we can't really do too much about this. Or they can't do too much about this. Go get some railroads down there, too. Fire Eaters. All men created equal. Guatemala goes bankrupt. Pretty normal. And infrastructure. How are we looking now? Not too bad. Can you do some more down here? Suppress the society. I need to get a naval base. Yeah, we can use one of those. There you go. More roads, please. More, more, more roads. Abolitionist. No, no, no. Paraguay, sure. A. 
There you go. North Carolina looking pretty good. This is, you can tell this is Appalachia right here. So, because it's all roads you can't build. I'll leave them be. That's fine. Texas you need some more roads. South Texas, you still need some roads down there, guys. Bias multiculturalism. Okay, colonial migration, not bad. Rebel scum. What? Paraguay. Um, let's lower all these guys by like one, just because I want to get Japan done before the war starts. So, and this one is not too bad. Let's do that one too. Is it Peru proposed peace? No. Or is it Argentina? That's later. God dang it! I should not have gotten in this war. My bad. Oh well. Georgia needs some roads too. But how's the debt? Let's pay out the debt first. There you go. Cool. And they'll lower taxes too. Hey, look at that. Nice. And Arkansas? Spe separatism? Nice. Uh, nope. Oh, you're a state. Oh, slave state. That's right. Cool. Cool. And Missouri too. Shut it down. So at this point, we're pretty much getting ready to go to war. With this, this, let's just start the Civil War, so. Ethnic flavor? Yeah, why not? I just want to make sure we can build up all the roads. Because I don't ever trust capitals building up roads for ourselves, so. There you go. Not bad. Leave them be. Leave them be. They'll be fine. Shogun of Japan? Yes, please. We could go to war with them if we really wanted to, but nope. I pledge allegiance. South Carolina. Bavaria is a great power. That's not good for Germany. And we can support it. And do that one. We always do the other one, so. Oh, the French Empire. Okay. Looking pretty darn strong. Mechanical production is coming along. What else? California could use some roads as well. Nevada is not looking very good. Neither is Arizona. Two odd nights. Cool. And Guat Guatemala's next. Okay, that's weird. I guess we could go to war with them, but now we're okay. Um, all this stuff is okay. Biologism. Yeah, let's get some of that. We love social Darwinism, right? I just want to be able to build roads where we really, really want them first. Missouri. Yeah, probably next. Kentucky. Yeah, we like Kentucky. Totally not being biased here. Absolutely not. Absolutely not being biased here. The Apache Wars. The New Mexico Apache, led by a man calling himself Victorio, has risen up and massacred several settlers in the state, provoked by the ever-increasing incursions by the white man into territory traditionally considered a part of the Apache homeland. Victorio and his band refused to submit to the U.S. authority. They'll submit sooner or later. All you have to do is just kill them all off and then they'll submit, probably. Nice. Let's build up uh, Cuba. That's a state. Or actually, no, it's still a colony. It's still a colony. Nice. Build up Cuba. Really hope we can... Oh, oh crap. Elections, huh? Immigration riots? Riots have broken down in, broken down in Norfolk's immigrant communities. While formerly citizens, many immigrants feel that the state does not accord them proper recognition and that they do not have the same opportunities as proper nationals. Well, let's listen to them. Why not? Yeah, we've already killed off all of our uh, infamy problems, though. Violent elections. Oh, as the American election begins, there's a general sense that things are not going to proceed smoothly. A sense is changes in the air, and while not everyone wants that change, it seems there are many who leap upon the elections as a chance to make it happen. Our recent ride in Washington was only barely kept under control, and debates elsewhere in the U.S. are threatened to erupt into further violence as neither side is willing to budge. Oh, boy. Tensions, and tensions dissipate. Great. Up next, uh, even a better school system. How are the intellectuals up in North Carolina? They're getting there. South Carolina. They're getting there. How are the beer cuts over here? We're, oh, we're actually really close to getting this stuff done too. Nice. This should actually pop off very soon. So, um... Yeah, I really wish we could get to Japan. Commodore Expedition. Oh, we have to be... God dang it, we have to be peace. No wonder. Just, just peace out with them. For the love of God, just peace out with them. Ah, uh, crud. Well, I guess we'll end maybe the episode here just because I want to maybe... I'm just going to peace out with them manually, so... Regardless, I hope you enjoyed our little episode regarding Manifest Destiny. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll probably end up in a little bit of conflict and truly reveal which side we want to support. Thanks for watching, have a great, great...
rest of your day.